last time I got interrupted on the path to understanding the timing of my frame loop by what appears to be an anti-aliasing bug. So today I'm going to look at that very closely and try to figure it out. A problem I'm having with debugging this so far is that the diagram I'm looking at has these statically placed lines that jump around sporadically. But if I'm having an anti-aliasing bug, it's quite likely that the condition when it appears relates to how uh, the rectangle is placed relative to the pixel centers on the pixel grid. I think it'll be easier to understand that condition by gradually sliding along a, lo a single line across the screen rather than trying to infer it from lines that change their position sporadically and then stay still. All right, here's my test line. I'm sliding it to the right by one one thousandth of a pixel each frame right now and watch what happens. And there it is. My line disappears just for a moment. I now have a very strong confirmation that some alignment of my line relative to the pixel centers causes it to disappear. My anti-aliasing must be very busted for something like this to happen. So now it's all about figuring out where it's happening and then figuring out why it's happening. I'm going to guess that this bug is showing up at the point where the shape is exactly halfway between two pixel centers. Because that's where the shape is as far away from the pixel center as it can be. To test this hypothesis, I'm going to place my line there initially and then slow it down even more. If no line shows up, then I'm pretty sure that it's because it's between two pixel centers. And here we can see the line is indeed completely missing. That pretty much confirms that, that I'm having a bug whenever I'm at a half integer coordinate. So now I need to figure out what's happening there. So after I've been looking at it for a while, I'm coming to suspect that something about my anti-aliasing system is conceptually wrong. So I break out the blackboard and recheck my thinking for a bit. Thank you. 
Here I decide to make a change that's just going to eliminate a source of confusion for myself. In OpenGL, positions coming out of the vertex shaders have to be in normalized coordinate space, but my fragment shader wants to deal with the positions in screen space since it's doing sine distance calculations. I've been passing the screen space positions as a separate output from the vertex shader, but when I realized I could just use OpenGL's GL frag cord to get the screen space coordinates, I decided I'll switch to that. It saves me a little bit of work in the shaders, and it makes sure that I'm not screwing that calculation up. I'm actually going to get the pixel centers coordinates and not something else. Eh, it's still not very pretty here, but I've got a line sliding across the pixels without disappearing. If I'm being honest, this is not super thrilling. A lot of this is kind of messy and it's getting worse as I toy with it, not better. There's just too many things here that are working out against me that I'm not really aware of, and I think I need to take a break, come back to this later when I have fresh eyes and fresh head, maybe review how all of this stuff went first. I think this will be a pretty good spot to chop off this arc since it's gotten pretty long. So we'll do a third part of the graphics arc where I will fix this up, fix up the frame rate stuff, and do a final cleanup and simplification pass over everything that's happened. I'll see you then.